Hello, today I'm going to be doing a review on Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. So, the first half is spoiler free. Um, Catching Fire was very, it was a very good book. It gives you a t really good taste of the characters more. The first book really just, the first Hunger, you know, Hunger Games book, gave you a taste of the plot, or not really, <laughs> the it gave you a taste of more the story, the whole kind of, you know, what they do in the Hunger Games and all that stuff. So Catching Fire really gave you a better chance to get to know the characters. Because the first half, everybody says the first half is boring and you don't like it. But that's actually kind of the most interesting part because you get to know all the people a little bit better. And I really like the first part. I mean, I like the whole book, <laughs> but every all my friends say that the first half is, or not all of them, but, you know, the first half is boring, but that's because they don't, you know, I don't know. I just, I like to get to know the characters, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, it was a very, very good book, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> um, there are lots of things in the book that you'll like and it'll keep you interested just like the first book so and if you if you haven't read the book yet I would suggest you leave now because <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you so if you have read the book stay tuned because yeah all right goodbye people who haven't read the book <laughs> okay so those of you who have, who have read the book or yeah who have read the book. Um, I really wanted to talk about how I just, I love how Suzanne Collins makes this book so, like, you know, you, you just want to keep reading and not put it down, especially when you get to the second half, like the, the quell, the second part. I mean, I really loved how, or, and it leaves you hanging at the, at the end of the book because Pete is gone. And everybody, you know, all of you who are on Team PETA, uh, leaves that you guys hanging. But, you know, I'm on Team Gale, so. <laughs> He's there at the end, which is a good thing. He's there for Katniss. That's why, I mean, Peter's there for Katniss, but Peter was going like, to die for her. That was, that was pretty, I liked that part, okay? I think it was sweet. He was trying to keep her alive, and you know she was trying to keep him alive, and all that. It was kind of confusing, but um, they have a few other characters that you never really got to know in the first book, like Finnick or um, Mags, or you know all those people. Um, yeah, and the arena really kind of was weird. It was a clock, and that was just I don't know. I. I it was interesting. It was very interesting to try to figure out, you know, how seeing them or watching them figure it out. Um, and so, yeah, I really liked her idea of the clock thing. And um, when the Mocking Jays, uh, or not the Mocking Jay, the Jabber Jays were there in the arena, and you could hear all, you know, people's voices, and she heard Prim screaming. I was terrified. I thought. I thought something would really happen, but it didn't really, I don't think yet. <laughs> but, um, I finished Catching Fire like a week ago, I think, and it was awesome. I had been staying up to like, I don't know, reading the book, trying to figure it, you know, trying to figure it out. I mean, I'd say, I'm going to stop at this chapter, and then I'd keep reading. It's, it's very hard to stop reading this book, so, um, I hope you guys like it. I would recommend it to anybody who likes a good book that will keep you interested, so, yeah, it really does get, let you, you know, get to know all the characters a little better, but that was probably my favorite part, because I got to learn about Gail more, and Haymitch more, and Effie more, and all that, so, I would recommend, yeah, I would recommend this book to anybody, <laughs> so, you can, get, you can get it at, like, for 10 bucks, 10 to 12 bucks at Walmart. That's where I got this one. So, yeah. I hope you liked this review. And these are just my thoughts on the book. I really 
liked it a lot. <laughs> um, from a one to five star, I would give it probably a uh, hmm, four. Four and a half. Yeah, four and a half sounds good. But yeah, it was a very good book. So I hope you guys, or yeah, I hope you guys read it. It's a very good book. Or, you know, you already have read it. <laughs> You yeah, have already. <laughs> uh, Alright, sorry. I'll see you later, guys. See you later. <laughs>